Hey, in our last Will It Run video, we had this Cub Cadet LTX 1040 I had picked up after it had been sitting for a while, and we went through and got it running again. I'll put a link up at the end of this video if you want to check that out. In today's video, we're going to start pulling this engine out and start getting it prepped and ready to go into a Toro zero turn we have outside. We're also going to be pulling that motor out of that zero turn as well. So let's go ahead and get busy. I'm going to make a life a lot easier for me and just pull this hood off here. Might as well get this shroud loose on it. This is something that's going to have to come off of it anyway. This engine is going to get clean and pressure washed really well before it goes into that little zero turn. Start by disconnecting the throttle cable on this and getting the gas out of it. I'm just going to cut the fuel line on it because we're going to replace the fuel line anyway. On this guarding off and getting this exhaust free so it's easier to slide off. Sometimes I find getting a die grinder wrench as this can make it a little easier getting these starter nuts loose on these starters because they don't give you a whole lot of room to put a thick wrench in there. They'll hold it while you're loosening the nut. I got to take and get under here and get this pulley loose down here and drop that down. There's a more deck guard so we'll pop, pop that bracket down out of the way. Brackets loose. Now we got to get the crank bully loose. There we go. There we go. How about that? That pulley came off relatively easy on this. Sometimes they don't. All right, now one of the next fun things we got to do is we got to get the motor bolts, get the motor bolts loose on here. That one come loose okay. Right, got that one okay. out pretty easy Ooh. well already the motors out of the cub cadet that wasn't hard at all was it well now we get that thing shoved outside and bring that toral time cutter in here and we'll start pulling that motor out okay we got that engine out of that cub cadet LTX 1040 as you can see that was not a bad job to do it all we shoved that outside and now we brought our Toro Time Cutter Z5000 in. This has a blown engine in it, so we'll get started on pulling this engine out next. Let's get busy. Yes. Start by taking this guard off here so it's easy to slide the motor out. Now in case you're wondering on this engine swap, is if we take an engine out of that Cub Cadet like we have, is it going to be a direct bolt in? Uh, yes and no. Uh, if you stick around toward the end of the video, I'll go over more detail on that, why it is and why it's not, and some of the things we're going to have to take in consideration when we do this swap. Still even have an air filter in it, go figure. You can go ahead and pull this top shroud off of this motor here. Just make things a little more at ease to work on. 
Now, all you guys out there watching this at home, if you've been paying attention to the other engine we took out, you may even have to go back and watch the video where we first got it running, but you're gonna see one difference right now, right here in plain sight, that is different. Is something that we're gonna have to contend with on this engine swap. Yeah, dirty, but no mice nest. Same thing down here, gone plug our wearing harness. Just like so. Gotta get our starter wire undone down here. Get our starter wire loose down here. And do our throttle cable. These little single cylinder Kohler Courages, as you can see, they're pretty cut and dry. I'm taking them out. They're, uh, they're a really simple engine to pull. Because we're going to replace uh, all the fuel lines and filters on this. That gas is obviously old. Whew, definitely get a whiff of that and it stinks. And the next thing we do, we got to... Now this is where it gets a little more challenging than what the Cub Cadet was. Not that this was hard. It just takes a little more time. We got this electric clutch that's on this engine. So we got to pull our wire connection out here. Then drop this clutch down and... Um, unbolt the support bracket there that has a couple bolts up there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this part off camera just because I'm, it's, it's going to be hard trying to hold the camera down here where you're going to be able to get a good view of doing this. So yeah, it's just like I said, this basically undoing that bolt, your plug connection, your two support bolts. Well, and then we got our engine mount bolts uh, right here. We're going to have to undo those well. Then we'll uh, lift this motor right off of here. Now, we're back now basically a half hour later. But that clutch right there was the fun problem. That thing did not want to come off very easily. So we had to work at that for a little bit. Get that muffler down there to content with. Huh. Well, I just discovered another issue with this thing motor and the mufflers broke on it. There we go. Oh. Right, that motor's out. Now I took and I quick took the starter off this. Here's why we're replacing that motor. Look at the big old hole through the side of the block from the rod smacking it. All right, now both Engines are pulled out of the tractors. We got our 19 horse that come out of the LTX 1040 Cub Cadet tractor. And we got our 21 horse here that just come out of the Toro Time Master Z5000. I quick pulled the starter off our 19 horse and checked this real good. I do not see any visible cracks. This is where they'll crack at right along here where your cams are inside there. Uh, is that those case bolts are loose that can shuck around in there that's how that happens and i've also seen them crack right down here before so we're very fortunate that this is a good motor block wise now one of the most important things you want to check whenever you're repowering a unit even if you're putting the same type of engine in you want to check the length of your crankshaft right here see this one right here is well three and an eighth inch from what I'm seeing here. That's on the 19 horse, by the way, and now our 21 horse here. We got three and an eighth. So it's the same length crankshaft for your PTO output. That is crucial, that has to be correct. Now, I got this engine flipped up. This is our 19 horse out of the Cub Cadet. You can see the layout how this is. Even with the blower shroud. And here's the 21 horse that's out of the Toro. 
Now, you can obviously see there's some differences on these engines, even though they're the same one. Uh, for example, look where your fuel pump is on your zero turn engine here. It's inside under the blower shroud. And you gotta remember this one here on the 19 horse, it did not have a fuel pump. This was a gravity fed system. So I showed you the crankshaft, the PTO shafts on how those are the same. Now, if you're asking yourself, can I just take this engine and put it in at zero turn over there and run? No, we cannot. We got some changes that we got to do on this engine to make it work in this little zero turn. So with that being said, how am I going to take this 19 horse and make it work? You're going to have to come back in our next video that we do on this project with this motor swap. So tune into the next video we do on this project on this Toro Time Cutter Z5000. We'll go through and do all the necessary preparation that we need to do to get this 19 horse Kohler single cylinder Courage up and ready to go that we can drop into that zero turn and get that up and running. We'll see you in our next video.